Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Bringing y'all another flash back down memory lane for the people in the back that didn't get the memo. Here, Christian, Krishan Rock's nephew, share another story time two years ago about his aunt Chastity, Uncle Mook, and Latifah, aka Taseki. Trigger warning, because this story time is something out of the book of pure evil. And remember, everything said in this video is alleged. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And smash that notification bell so y'all won't miss out on my next video. Stay blessed. Peace. They did. <laughs> oh, y'all want Chastity? Now, her story a little longer and bigger. Because her story, and why I remember her so vividly, because hers kept constantly happening as I went past seven. That's what I'm saying. Now, seven, all the way up to like nine, ten. I remember. Matter of fact, even this one time when I was thinking I was like 11, 12, bro. Where the fuck was at? I remember we was at one of the little Latifah boyfriend's houses. Latifah had a little boyfriend named Money. I used to with Latifah boyfriend. I think it was his little niece or cousin or something. I remember her. I used to try to with her. She was a virgin and shit. So it took me and her a minute. The one time we finally got in the mood about the f we were standing in the people's house. Chastity all alone was there. I was standing in the living room on the couch. I remember how this little girl, the girl was trying for the version joint. She walked in the room on me in a blanket naked. I'm talking about, you ready? What's up? You ready? So I'm like, hell yeah, what's up? We tried to do it. It ain't go right. You feel me? She a virgin. That shit's hurting her and all that shit. It ain't go right. So the next day, boom, we was going to try again. But my aunt, I guess, wanted to give her the tips. Chastity wanted to give the girl tips on how to me. This is the weird part about this. And this happened, like, when we was a little older. Man, Chastity literally bent over on the bed, spread her ass part and all that, and said, Tristan, come put it in me. Show her how to come put it in me. Right in front of the girl, right? The girl even looking confused. I swear if she on this live and all that, she will even tell you, shorty. Money, Mike, Lord, niece, or cousin. If y'all on here, y'all remember that bent over the tumble me and show her how it's done. That's how you do it. Arch the ass, show her how to bend over everything. My, my, the girl I was trying to get was even looking at her crazy, like, what the that's your family? Ill. And she even left out the room. I couldn't even, bro. I could not even, I lost my virgin because of my aunt. She was wild. She was wild. Even the girl was looking like, what the fuck? And she ain't even bringing up to my folks. She ain't even, to, well, she probably told her folks, but she ain't tell my folks. Yeah, a lot, a lot of shit. Like, for Chastity, even with the garage, we was out Pasadena. I had a white girl named Brooke. It's like she always, Ch Chastity used to talk to me when I tried to get a girlfriend. Now, I was like seven, when we was like eight, seven years old. I was out um, Pasadena. This little white girl named Brooke with glasses. She had blonde hair. I wanted her at as So... My aunt was like, all right, you want her? And she was a little older. That was, Brooke was Chastity and them friend. So I guess Chastity and them, see, I liked their her, and they felt some type of way. So Chastity brought me in the garage, in my grandma garage, got on her knees, bent over, pulled down, tried to put it in her. Real, she pulled down, tried to put it in my grandma's garage. And I ain't like that. I got up, we left out. She act like nothing happened. And then I guess she told Brooke something, and Brooke just left me alone. Never seen Brooke again. Then another story with Chastity, you know. I had another little girlfriend across the street. So for this little girl was a little younger, and that's how sick my people's is. This about to get sick. This little girl, but I say, uh, I had to be at least just five years old. I was like seven, so she had to be five because she was younger than me. But she knew how to talk though. But she ain't talk like a kid, kid. She just, I mean, she ain't talk like an older kid. She talked like a straight kid. Like, hey, 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 like kids. So, boom, long story short, my Uncle Mookie, my Aunt Chastity, and Tifa, and them, they took me across the street to her. And she, we used to chill over the house a lot. And I used to be like, that used to be my little kid crush. I had a crush on her. So, why did my uncles and them take me and this little girl downstairs in the basement, bro? This little girl, literally like five, I'm like seven. They pulled me out on her, bro, and told her to treat her like a hot dog and eat it. They told this little five year old to suck me and treat her like a hot dog, bro. That's like, that's crazy. A little five year old, bro. That little girl, bro. 
was only five. I was seven. And they was teaching that little girl how to the age of five. So whoever that little white girl was, if y'all remember that from Pasadena, I'm sorry for that bitch. And that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. For real shit. Turned that little girl out early, bro. Our parents ain't even know what the fuck's going on. That's what I'm saying. I ain't remember all that shit. I ain't remember sheep in the net, too. So, I'm saying I'm just trying to let y'all process, let y'all catch up to the story real quick. Mm -hmm.